Welcome to the Have Good Ripple Effect podcast. Let's jump right in. Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Have Good Ripple Effect podcast. I'm Lisa Even, your host, and I cannot wait to share stories and strategies and even a little bit of the science behind having good ripple effect, creating impact. Now, if you know me, maybe a friend or you've seen me speak, thank you so much for supporting the work. I'm glad to have you listening to the show. If you're brand new and you're like, hmm, I'm just here to hear more, welcome. To give you a little bit of background, I'm Lisa Even, and I'm the creator of Rising Tides Connection Conferences, which are in-person conferences. I'm a keynote speaker, success coach, and probably my favorite title, a joy connoisseur. About eight years ago, my husband and I looked at our lives and said, oh, we're not having as much joy as we could. And so we redesigned our lives. I wrote a book on it. It's called Joy is My Job. You can find it on Amazon. But being a joy connoisseur and deciding not to let joy find us, because you know, if you wait for joy to find you, you might wait forever. But instead, we look at our calendar each month and we're like, hmm, do we have enough joy? Should we add some? That's why it's my favorite title. Now we're gonna dive in right off the bat to a little bit about what we're going to be talking about and experiencing on this podcast. I want you to have a good understanding of like the what and the why behind this podcast. Now, right out of the gate, I have to tell you that the little bit of perfectionist in me is scared to death, right? It is like, ah, what if they don't like it? What if they don't listen? But you know, I often say to people, I'm a scientist. Like I live in the lab, almost like my lab goggles, where I set up tiny experiments just to see what result, right? You've got to get, you've got to do something in order to get a result. And so after a number of different people said, Lisa, when are you going to start a podcast? I think it was a combination of that. And one other thing that really led me to say like, okay, today is the day. Now I do a lot of corporate training, keynote speaking and coaching. And I also save a corner of my week because I'm on a mission to connect with a million people. And you'll hear a little bit about all of that in future episodes. But through those conversations, I often hear people say, well, you know, I've got this idea, but it won't work. Or, you know, if I had all the money in the world, I would do X. Or, yeah, like I always wished I could do, you know, insert blank. And it's interesting because they usually follow it up, this idea or a thought with like the reason they can't. So maybe it's like, well, you know, I don't have enough time or, well, you know, I don't know anyone who's ever done it or like, well, like, gosh, I I don't know where I'd fit it into my life. And I often think to myself, gosh, if we could just get in the lab and start to experiment, imagine the impact, the ripple effect that we would have. And so on this podcast, I invite you, whether you've got an idea or maybe you're just curious and you're like, oh, I just need a little uplifting conversation in my life. But I invite you for the journey of thinking about, yeah, what would it look like if I was on a mission to have good ripple effect? Whether it was an idea or an action, what could I do? And you're gonna hear from, you're gonna hear some amazing stories about people who have created impact. But you'll also get some knowledge and hopefully some mindset hacks to really help you think about your impact. I always say life is really short, right? So you get to happen to the world, not the other way around. And I think that in those conversations of just seeing the world kind of in between idea and action, right? That like middle part of just, hmm, yeah, I don't know. That's what really pushed me to say, no, get out there. Like you can create impact, big and small. And I want to give you the mindset, the tools, and the stories to really get you in gear, to take you from inspired thought to inspired action. And that's what we're going to do on these, in these episodes is really get you some ideas and inspiration to get out there. Now, there's a great quote from E.B. White, and he talks about how he wakes up in the morning torn between whether to save or savor the world, right? To save or savor the world. And I think on this podcast, 
We're going to do both. I want to give you some ideas on not only on impact, but also how you can create a little bit of joy. Now, the person who listens to this podcast, I think you're going to be curious. I think you're going to be a little bit hopeful and also a little bit like you've got some thoughts and ideas, maybe a friend where you're like, gosh, they need this. And I invite you, if you're excited about thinking about your impact, your ripple effect, to continue to listen along. We've got all sorts of ideas and experts and, like I said, the stories, strategies, and science to get you there. Now, in our future episodes, we're going to be talking all about those things, but thank you so much for joining on this first episode of the Have Good Ripple Effect podcast. Be sure to subscribe and share it with a friend. See you next time. Thanks for listening. Visit lisaeden.com to learn about events and grab a copy of my book, Joy is My Job.